Check out this Chevy. Yeah. That is just too awesome. Here's a quick note for you thermal guys. I'm about to cite in my 85 grain Sierra Varmateers and my 6.5 Grendel. I don't like to waste a lot of ammo, primarily with this bullet since they don't make it anymore. Um, I would advise getting an app that you like, and I'm mean, currently using Ballistic AE. And what I want to do is go to the bullet itself, and there's my target swing off of there. Uh, let's see, 85 grain, here we go. And make sure it's the right scope at 3.5 inches high. What you want to do is find the first trajectory where the bullet is crossing the plane from positive to negative and this bullet it's going to be right at 72 yards and that will keep me at a zero at 200 yards as you can see here is what I've actually got it sighted in at um, and that is the second trajectory plane where the bullet crosses at 71 and it drops in at 200 yards and I am zeroed all the way out to 275 yards that is an awesome round so we'll get this sighted in and I don't want to waste a lot of ammo in doing this I probably could get it in and maybe five bullets or less let's see if I if this theory will work That, my friend, is good enough for me. It is about half an inch off to the left, but I can live with that. I want to show you how much more stable this system is compared to what I was shooting the other day. Remember how I was barely rocking it? Check this out. Same motion, no movement. Remember we were having problems with the head unit? Watch this here. Literally, no movement outside of what I'm forcing. And then here, again, no movement. And then you will actually be able to see it when I look through the thermal. So let me get this set up. Okay. Let me hit the record button here. Oh. Yeah, okay, here we go. So here I am gonna sling my arm like I did the other day. And I've got actually a hand stop back here where I buttress it up against. And I've got a rock at exactly Let's see, that board is at 71 yards. So I'm gonna guess we're right at about 65 yards. Look how still this is. Let me hold my breath here. Now, this is unsupported. Let's see, a little bit more of a sway. go back to support it again. Definitely a much more stable system. Get you a good shooting system and you'll be able to take long range shots like I've been doing at uh, longer distances. The system's awesome. I got a question for you guys who run tripods that um, mount your gun on a ball joint all the way down here. How do you carry yours when you're in the field? I like to extend my neck like this because I could literally just throw the whole thing over my shoulder like that. I guess you could do it. I don't know, that's just awkward. Let me try lowering this. I've always wondered though how you guys carry that. If you do shoot that way, I'm curious. That's just awkward. I don't know, I'll stick to my single pivot. It's a lot easier for me just to throw this part right here, the neck, on my shoulder and carry the whole system.